let's talk about being a consultant. Um, and a consultant in, in this case, we're talking about those independent contractors or service providers, um, often 1099 form employees, which means they're, they're not getting benefits or anything. They're getting like a straight hourly rate or they're getting um, some form of compensation that does not include any benefits or any um, other privileges. Often these are by project by project, so they're going to work on a specific um, project where they're going to provide deliverables within a certain time frame and for a certain number of hours. You've got other kinds of consultants that can actually fit into this, and that's um, like if you're a temp or something like that, where you go through an agency and they put you on different jobs where you might need to be there from 8 to 5 every day. And it's not that, you know, you're going to do whatever work comes your way, but it's very definitely based upon hours um, where you need to be present to provide a certain support. Um, and it, there may and may not be start and end times uh, for the dates you'd be doing that. It could be one week of support. It could be multiple weeks. It just could be ongoing until a certain need in the organization is met. So there are a lot of strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats associated with it. Uh, for this form of work. So let's talk about the strengths. This is very, um, this is a great opportunity for flexible work arrangements. Um, you can take on a lot of projects or not, depending on what your needs are, what your mood is. There's hardly any upfront costs. I mean, if you are someone that's not going and sitting at a desk every day, but you're doing specific projects for an organization, it's often just, you know, do you have a laptop? Do you have a phone and internet connection, that's all you need because you're bringing your knowledge and experience to the table. This works very well too if you are very good at customer relationships and everything because you can build relationships within organizations and many of those like to reach out to you. They're high touch. They want to they wanna have you there to help them with, resolve certain problems. Some of the weaknesses are the same things, right? Um, if they're high touch, and you don't want to be high touch, you want to be left to yourself, that, that can cause um, some issues. Um, and the work may come in too many spurts, right? Maybe you want consistent work and it just comes in really hard working spurts for a month or two and then nothing for a month or two. And that can present problems. Same problem with payment issues. Um, depending on the organization, um, they might not pay very quickly or they just might not be honorable to those people that are consultants. And so you may not get paid for a while or not at all um, from some organizations. And so it's very important to check that out before you uh, sign up for certain opportunities. Opportunities for this kind of work is that you can start to pick and choose your projects, especially if you're very good at what you do. You can establish higher than average rates. You can choose what you're interested in. You don't have to just take anything that comes your way. And often, if you have a great relationship within the organization, they'll refer you to other divisions or to other organizations. Now, that's also a threat to your business, right? Because if you have some run-in or some situation um, and that trust goes down, they will spread that word as well. And in an economy like this, um, consultants are often the first to go. So these are some things to consider if you want to take the consultant route.